Definitely still something in there. I knew it. It's a piece of shrapnel. I can feel it. Well, meters saying small bronze coin, possibly Georgian, but it's a bit of an iffy signal. Yeah, doctors are refusing to believe me. Reckon I'm making a fuss. How's it feel? Nah, it's not too bad. Well, I was lucky I was wearing my triple weave combat protectives. You were quite away from the crater. Yeah, blew me about 40 foot. Were you running? No, no, it was the blast. So, when did you get out? A couple of days. They want to make sure that the cuts aren't infected. Well, they better get the shrapnel out. Can't go detecting with metal in your leg. You get a signal every other step. That's why Barry Sheen had to call it a day. Who'd have thought, eh? Mr. Health and Safety. Yeah, all right, Russ. Of all the people. Do you know what type of bomb it was? Ah, uh, it's just your basic Luftwaffe Flam C-500 incendiary, Hugh. Cool. Mm. Well, there's a lesson here for everyone. Oh, what's that, Russ? Don't dig up bombs. Don't detonate bombs. He's right, you know. I'm losing my touch. It's a rookie mistake. First day of metal detecting school. I thought that was don't detect in a thunderstorm. I get through a lot on that first day. Perhaps it's time to hang up the old detector. What? No. And what's more, it may be time to hand over the presidency. Really? For more than a decade, I've shared in the turbulent history of this club. I've tried, to the best of my ability, to discharge those duties that were entrusted to me. And now, having finished the work assigned me, I retire from the great theatre of action and bidding... Hang on. That's the George Washington resignation speech. Doesn't matter, it's relevant. And bidding an affectionate farewell to this august body, I here offer my commission and take leave of all the employments of public life. Thank you. Thank you. So, who's going to take over? Well, that's for you to decide. But I would suggest Andy as the new leader. What does it involve? Buying a new jar of Nescafe every three months? It's more than that, Russell. Every four months. Look, there are subscriptions to collect. We've got seven members. There are talks and rallies to organise. There are permissions to secure. I think Andy is the man to lead this club forward. Uh, thanks, Terry. I'll, I'll certainly think about it. Good. Now, if you don't mind, thank you all for coming, but I would like to get some rest. Let us know if you need anything, Terry. Take away those pillows. I shall need them no more. Lewis Carroll. Get out. Um, Terry? Yes, you. If they get that piece of shrapnel out... It's yours, mate. Thanks, Terry. Cheers. <laughs> me. You're studying archaeology. Sees you as legit. Why would I want to be president of the DMDC? Think of the power. Are you serious? What power? The power to lord it over Russell and Hugh. The power to collect £3.50 of them every quarter. No, I'm talking about the power to change the club. Turn it into something worthwhile. You can get that bloke to be patron. What bloke? You know, I have a cunning plan. So Tony Robinson. Is he a sir? Yeah, show some respect. If you get fleeces with DMDC embroidered on them. I doubt you could buy them in batches of less than 50. Oh, we advertise, increase the membership. Just to fill the fleeces? No, to increase our clout, increase our influence. The antique researchers are officially affiliated with the Colchester Museum. They get to be official detectorists on any dig in the county. We could be sitting on something bigger than Sutton Who here. Yeah, if we can turn our club into something more professional, then we could oust them from their position. Yeah, mount a dirty smears campaign. Ooh, it's just a smear campaign. You're thinking of a dirty protest. Whatever. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> anyway, I need to get down there again. I know, I'm working a lot this week. 
Can't wait too long. Yeah, I'll find some time. Don't go down there without me. Nope. OK. Becky talking to you again? Just about. It was just a misunderstanding. I think she was drunk. Didn't seem drunk. No, but she was being sick the next morning. That's a sure sign. No, everything's fine. Good. So we're uh, we're all up for quiz night on Friday. Don't see why not. That's good. We need her geography knowledge. Right. Not her company and conversation. Oh, just as long as she knows the longest river in Azerbaijan. Think of inviting Sophie down, actually. What? Whose team would she be on? Ours. We're allowed up to four members in a team. But it's you, me and Bex. It's always been us. You know, just the three of us, the old team. That's what makes it so impressive when we win. It'll only be the ones. I want Becky and Sophie to be friends. <laughs> right, well, good luck with that one, then. What do you mean? Oh, I just think you're on thin ice. Could find yourself in some hot water. But it's always been you, me and Lance, just the three, the old team. Well, you're allowed up to four members on a team, and I think you'd like her if you got to know her. I don't particularly want to get to know her. Why not? Well, she's a floozy. A floozy? I haven't heard that word in years. She's a dolly bird. You sound like your mum. Sorry, sorry, you don't sound like your mum. You've never sounded like your mum. That was wrong with me. I've just never heard you use words like floozy and dolly bird before. But anyway, the point is, by saying that you don't want to know Sophie, you're basically saying that you still believe something's going on between me and Sophie, and by your own admission, you don't believe that anymore. Christ. What is all this stuff? Where's a ton? End of term presents from the kids. Mainly candles and world's best teacher mugs. Can't we dump it? No, what if somebody found it? They couldn't trace it back to you. Hello, world's best teacher. Good point. Did you go to the hospital? Yeah, he's fine, he's cut some bruises. He's loving it, actually. <laughs> Enjoying the drama. He's resigned the club presidency. Wow! I'll alert the media. <laughs> Does that mean the end of the DMDC? No, why should it? Well, who's going to be stupid enough to want to take over as president? You're not. Why not? Oh, God. What possible reason could you have for wanting to be president of the Danebury Metal Detecting Club? I'd say it was an ego thing, but there are only six members. Seven. Being the glorious leader of six socially awkward geeks isn't going to boost anyone's ego. Seven. Lance says we can increase membership and then have more power and influence in the archaeological world. Power and influence? You're deluded. Lance says we can ask Sir Tony Robinson to be patron. Who? Baldrick off of Blackadder. Is he a sir? Yes. Why would he ever agree to that? Because he's a champion of archaeology and archaeologists. But you're not archaeologists. You're a bunch of hobbyists. You are amateur metal detectors. Detectorists. Lance says... <coughs> you don't want to hear what Lance says, do you? No! I just see little enough for you as it is. And when I do, you're either caked in mud or smelling of scout hall. It was the last day of term today. I'm a teacher. I get a stupidly long summer holiday. I wanted to go away somewhere, somewhere good, somewhere with a swimming pool, but we can't afford it. Maybe we can go away somewhere crap instead. Just let us find this ship, burial, and I'll take you wherever you want to go. Simple as that. Simple as that. And in the meantime, I'll take you to the two brewers for quiz night. Does it have a swimming pool? Mm, I'm not sure. <laughs> OK. Sounds good. Can't do it, mate. I'm taking Mags and her mum to bingo. Oh, what? I changed my shift especially. Well, why can't her new bloke take them? She uses you. She bloody does. No, she bloody doesn't. Wanna help her? Oh, I can do tomorrow. Ah, 
don't worry about that. Bishop's given us permission. Still our land. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. She asked me, and I, I didn't feel like I let her down. All right, whatever. Yeah, maybe. All right, see ya. Hey, Sophie. Guess what I've got? Technetics Eurotech. No, second hand. Nearly new. Unwanted Christmas present, apparently. So, when are we going out? Uh, I don't know. Lance is busy and we sort of said we wouldn't. Yeah. No, I suppose he couldn't hurt. All right, what time? All right, see you there. Whoa. Terry had a lucky escape. Yeah. But at least he got an anecdote out of it. Well, look at me. Very nice. You're one of us now. Just need some camouflage. Why do detectors need camouflage? To hide from predators. Of course. So what are we looking for? Saxon King. Section of these Saxons. You got it. And what's he look like? About yay high, beard, buried in a ship. Okay. So, this is your discrimination that differentiates between metals, so you won't get a signal when you go over iron. And this here sets your ground balance. Yeah, yeah, boring. Come on, let's go. Whoa, slow down. You've got to know these things, otherwise you'll spend your whole time digging holes with nothing in the bottom of them. Bollocks, set it a treasure. Let's go get rich. What happened to you? What happened to the girl who was interested in local history? It's not about finding treasure. It's about finding... Buttons and ring balls. No, thank you. Show me to the non-ferrous metals. Unbelievable. First pre-decimal coin, buy the drinks. Sick of you. Oh, my God. You found your gold. Found my gold. Oh, dear. I think we're going to get towed off. Basically, good news and bad news. What's the bad news? MOD have turned up, sites out of bounds. They're doing geophys to determine whether there's any more unexploded subsoil ordnance. Well, just as long as they don't find anything pre-1940. How do you find out? You phone Bishop? Well, that's where the good news comes in. Wait for it. Ta-da! What's 
sir. Gold stator. Oh, well, I know what it is. Where'd you get it? Bishop's farm, not far from the crater. You went there without me? Well, yeah. I know we sort of said, but didn't think you'd mind. And we certainly didn't expect... We? Who's we? Me and Sophie. She bought a detector. She wanted to try it out. Didn't think you'd mind. Well, I do mind. I do mind you went to Bishop's farm without me when you said you wouldn't. I do mind you went with Sophie. And I do mind you found your first girl with her and not with me. Come on, mate. Did you do a dance? No. We always said we'd do a dance when we first found gold. Yeah, we didn't seem right without you there. Mm. Didn't want to feel uncool in front of your new girlfriend. She's not my girlfriend. Why don't you do it now? What, dance? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. No. Go on, dance. Don't want to. Well, why don't you get out of my flat then? Come on. No, go on. I've got stuff to do. We still doing the quiz? Yeah. Yeah, I I'm doing the quiz, yeah. Huh, good. But not with you. What? Oh, you got a new detective partner. She could be your new quiz partner and all. Oh, come on, mate. No, I'll find my own team. And while we're at it, I've decided to stand for club president as well. We can't stand against each other. That's ridiculous. Oh, pull out then. Or better still, whoever loses the quiz on Friday, they can pull out the presidency. Who's your team? Well, I've got people. Intelligent people. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Two halves for the ladies. <laughs> and a pint for me. Cheers. Thanks, Cheers. love. Why, why are you drinking girls' drinks, Lance? Watching the figure? Driving. Still got the old banger. Well, TR7's a classic. Oh, take no notice, Lance. He's just jealous. Jealous of the yellow peril? I don't need a penis extension to prove myself. It's not a penis extension, Tony. Penis extensions are red. It is a penis extension, a tiny yellow penis extension. We stop talking about my penis. Probably best. Leaves a bad taste in the mouth. Or so I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, why not? He's got a new team. <laughs> what new team? I don't know. Well, who's going to be our sub? Sophie, I told you. What? I told you. I want you to see that she's actually really nice. <laughs> I'm sure she's bloody wonderful. Oh, look, there's Lance. Who's he with? What's going on? Well, nothing. Who's he with? Have you two fallen out? No, what? Why? Brilliant. I'm going to be sitting there like a lemon while you ignore your boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. And hold hands with your girlfriend. She's not my girlfriend. She's a floozy. She's not a floozy. Who's not a floozy? Hello, Sophie. Look, it's Sophie. Oh, yes. Hi. So, Sophie, this is, um, Becky. Uh, Becky, this is Sophie. I think you've met before. Yeah. Hi again. Hello. Sorry I poured three pints of strong European lager over you last time we met. It was an accident. That's OK. It happens all the time. Uh, what are you drinking, Sophie? Pint? Three, please. <laughs> Right, I'm going for a fag. You coming, Matt? Yeah, come on then. No, they're about to start in a minute. All right. Come on, mate, this isn't worth it. Come and join us at our table. Loser pulls out of the presidency. If you like. And loser leaves the club. All right, tosser. You tosser. Are you? No, you are.
So, how does this work? Uh, Quizmaster asks the questions, and if you know the answer, you write it down. Yes, yeah, it's, it's your basic pub quiz. Different rounds, different subjects. What's your uh, speciality, do you think? Children's programme. <laughs> Well, I'm studying ancient history, so... Yeah, it doesn't often come up in the Two Brewers pub quiz. You're a primary school teacher, aren't you? You're probably good at most subjects. That's right. Up to your sixth standard. Where have you been? We're about to start. All right. Jesus, don't wet yourself. And if everybody's ready... Round one. The sports round. <sighs> Question one. Which football club is nearest the Mersey? It's Liverpool. No, it's Stockport. It's definitely Stockport. People think it's Liverpool, Everton. That's why he puts the question in. It's definitely okay. Stockport. Stockport. Put Stockport. It down. Question two. What was the 1966 World Cup mascot in England? I know it. I know it. Oh, oh. oh that's it. Yes. Will they? Will yeah. they? Hopefully some geography questions will come up. Becky's got a geography degree. Oh, my God, amazing. Well done, you. Moving on to round two. Let's make... <laughs> what does FHM stand for? Oh, I've got answers, just me. Right. <laughs> Look at them, they know everything. Don't you read Lads Mags, Andy? No. No, Lads Mags are for men having midlife crises who like looking at pictures of floozies and dolly birds. <laughs> The Balearic Island. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> On to the next round. ITV2. What? Oh, <laughs> series <laughs> link. <laughs> On to round five. Astronomy. Question one. What star sign are you? If you was born on the 10th of October. That's not no, this, oh, no, I know no, this. No, no, no. I know this. No, that's astrology, not astronomy. What's the difference? And final round this evening is archaeology. What year was the tomb of Tutankhamun discovered? Who? 1923. 23. No, it's 1922. Is it? The actual discovery of the tomb when they found the steps was 1922, when they broke through into the burial chamber and found the wonderful things. That was early 1923. I did a project for my year six children. Well, this is your department, Indiana Jones and the Temple of... Uh. I know, it's just... I. It's either 1922 or 1923. Oh, oh, no. Great. Everything. For both years. Start the beginning. And the winners tonight, who got every question right, apart from them ones in the archaeology round, they were quite difficult. The winners are this team here. Humiliating defeat. Just oh, goes to prove yeah. Lance is the trivia king. Still, nice to meet you, Sophie. Yeah, you too. See ya. <laughs> See ya. why you need to elect me as your next president. Look, if I'm right, ladies and gentlemen, then this is it. This is the big one. What we've all been looking for. The final resting place of Sexred, King of the East Saxons. 
So what we've got to do is make the initial find. Then we can secure our right to play a part in the excavation. So let's get some new members in, some fresh blood. And let's get some fleeces with DMDC embroidered on them. No, Russell, it won't be too expensive. Because I've got a mate who works down at the Custom Fleece Warehouse and he'll give us a discount. What's that, young Hugh? Well... Do you see Andy here? Where is Andy in our hour of need? Sorry. Do you want to be alone with your detector? Yeah, if you wouldn't mind. Do you talk to him? Sometimes. Does every detector have its own personality? <laughs> Lance would have you believe they do. Why aren't you talking to Lance? What's it all about? Uh, I went detecting on Bishop's farm when we sort of said we wouldn't. On your own? Yeah. Oops. You'll get over it. Don't be sad. I'm going to let be club president. Well, you should. He's totally suited to it. You'd be rubbish. I've pulled out of the presidential race. Was it a race? Sort of. No, not really. I'm glad anyway, I didn't really want to do it. I just got caught up in all the excitement. Oh my God, you are so sad. Hang on, why aren't you drinking? You haven't got to school tomorrow. There's a reason. Oh, bloody hell, who's that? What reason? Hang on. What reason? Are you trying to lose weight? say you needed to lose weight. You don't need to lose weight. I thought that's why you weren't drinking. That's what you're doing. Where are you going? To my mum's. Because of what I said. It's not because of what you said. It's what you've done. What have I done? Rack your brains. Becky, wait. 